because it's actually a cooking recipe. Now, I'm really excited to share this with you all because it was always my hope and my vision to expand beyond the craft world and also into home design and cooking and anything else I can think of. So this is a recipe that's very, very simple, thus <laughs> the quick tip, but I think it's something that the whole family will enjoy. And it's also something that you can use for parties or for home, anything you can think of, you can use this recipe. So without further ado, let's get started on our homemade microwaved potato chips. So with the exception of a microwave, you're looking at everything you need for these potato chips right here. All I'm going to do is take a potato and a knife. This is not necessarily the knife you need. This is just the knife that I really enjoy. It's a heavy knife and it's serrated. So I really enjoy it. It gets the job done. It helps me to finally slice my potatoes. Most people will want to wash their potatoes. I have noticed that if you don't wash the potatoes prior to cooking, it does tend to make them a little bit crispier. But if you're really good at drying your potatoes off after washing, then feel free. So I'm going to take my potato and simply slice off the end. I don't usually use that end, but you can. And then I'm just going to get to slicing. You want your chips to be very thin, just like any other potato chip. Hopefully you can see here, this is incredibly thin. The thinner you can get the chips, the better. The idea is to have them almost transparent. Now that you have your potato all cut up, you're going to take your cooking spray, as well as your microwave tray, and spray it lightly. Now I'm simply going to take my potato, and lay it out on the tray. What I have learned is if you take the outer layer and hang it off of the tray a little bit, it gives the chips a really nice curl to it, just like what you would find at the store. Now that my tray is full, I'm going to take some sea salt or whatever seasoning you've chosen and spread it around on the chips. So here they go into the microwave. Now these chips need to cook anywhere between five and 10 minutes. However, since I am not exactly sure, I'm gonna start at five and then work my way up. So at the five minute mark, this is what I have. They're not quite as golden as what I'm going for, so I'm going to put them back in for about two more minutes and see what happens. So with 37 seconds left to spare, these chips are nice and brown. So those chips are done. Sometimes the thinner chips on the outside will cook faster while the ones in the middle are slower to cook. In that case, you'll wanna just take the other ones out and then keep cooking the ones that aren't quite done. So now I'm just going to take a storage container, open it up, and take my chips out. As you can see, what I have here is a nice, golden, slightly brown potato chip. It even has a nice crunch to it. So here's my container of nice, crisp potato chips. All I'm going to do now is take my top and seal it for when I'm ready to eat them. Super easy, right? And so much better for you than a lot of those chips you're going to find out there on the market today. So I hope y'all enjoy. Make sure to subscribe and comment. And until next time, see ya!